What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to add Kronos chain into MetaMask. First thing we need to do, we need to go to metamask.io and download and install MetaMask wallet. And if you don't have one installed, I already made a video about how to install and set up step by step. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. And then once you have that done, then we'll have to go to this website and I'll also leave a link in the description below. And at the same time, I'm going to copy this information and I'm going to leave it in the description below. So you can just copy from the description below right into your MetaMask. Let me split the screen real quick. Okay, once you have your MetaMask installed, we need to open it up. And then by default, it's going to be Ethereum mainnet. We need to press on it. And then in here, we need to press on add network then this window is going to appear. So right here, we need to copy all this information and we need to paste it in here. So for network name, we're going to leave it Kronos or you can just type Crow. And then new RPC URL, then chain ID, symbol and blockchain explorer. That's it. Now we need to press on save. And that's it. Kronos is set up and by default, CRO, that's the default token. And for example, let's open up an extension real quick. And for example, if you need to add assets, you go back to assets and then you can press on import tokens. If for example, you need to add some kind of tokens that are on Kronos blockchain, you can just go here and then paste contract address here and then it's going to fill out the rest of it and then press on add custom token. And once you do that, the token is going to appear in your wallet. So let's do it real quick. For example, let's go to Explorer. And right here, tokens, all tokens. And let's say, let's add VVS token. Press on it. We'll just copy the address and then import token. Paste right here. VVS, add custom token and import token. And that's it. By default, it's going to add token. If you go back, you'll see Crow and VVS. Keep in mind, if you're going to be adding any kind of tokens, you always have to keep Crow in your wallet, at least a couple tokens, because that's what you're going to use to pay for gas fees. And this is pretty much it. If this video was helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.